Hi, how's everybody doing today? My name is Steven Rosenberg, this is Gene Ginsberg, and welcome to Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes. We are gonna switch it up on you guys today and do something a little bit different than we usually do, uh, and we are gonna talk about some trends that we've been noticing, and the goal is to get you, the audience, and your feedback on how you guys feel. Gene, how are you doing so far today? I'm doing excellent. Uh, really excited to be here. And yeah, I like the, the sometimes you're going to do different formats when it comes to our 10 minutes, uh, marketing success in under 10 minutes. This one is not specifically about marketing, although there are marketing, um, in, you know, marketing is indirectly related yeah. to what we're going to talk about because, um, you know, with companies, uh, basically the topic that we want to talk about today is going to be um, so many, you know, disruptors, I guess it would be the 10,000 foot view, right? It's going to be disruptors. Yeah. So the trend that of course we're seeing, I, you know, it's not anything new per se, but it is definitely has been new in the last 10 to 15 years is that there has been, you know, industries that have become very mature things like, let's say the cable, you know, the cable industry, the TV industry, TV advertising, um, taxi industry, right? So all of these yeah. industries, and as we know now, speaking about all of these industries, there are so many disruptors out there in the last 10 to 15 years that have become huge. It's not just like they're like little startup companies that are like taking away, uh, you know, 1% of the market share. I mean, like they're taking away huge market Enormous. share, huge attention away from people who have, you know, the audiences, consumers who have been using the old industries and now are now switching over to the new industries. Like I don't take taxis anymore. <laughs> I don't know who does, who uses taxis anymore. Right. Um, and it's not just the taxis, you know, one of the things I heard from Gary V, because I always mentioned Gary V on this when I was listening to his podcast was that it's, it's also cars, right? So one of the, one of the gifts that now parents give their kids who are able to drive like who are 16 uh, instead of yeah. a new car they give them unlimited uber yeah. rides that is like the gift that all like 16 year olds want now so they don't even want a car they don't want to drive which is true right. i hate driving i don't want to drive i'd rather have unlimited uber rides um but so it's not just disrupting the taxi come like industry but it's also disrupting the car industry because um you know these people are not buying cars anymore for their six year old right. kids. Um, same thing, of course, with, with TV, right? So TV has been huge, TV advertising, big giant corporations and brands, you know, pumping billions of dollars into TV ads, which now nobody's really watching because, Absolutely. because they're, everybody's watching on-demand television. They're watching um, Netflix and on-demand, Hulu and whatever, like everything is on-demand now. Like, I don't wanna watch commercials. <laughs> So I think, I think the big uh, thing that we're trying to focus in on here is these disruptors, I believe, all have to do with time. And the three separate things that we're talking about here is transportation, con consumption of content, and I think retail is the other one, that those three industries are changing so drastically over the next, you know, they've changed so much in the last five years. Um, I would say also now more specifically recently is about the financial industry. So with cryptocurrency and um, Bitcoin and um, blockchain, uh, you can take out the middleman now. Actually, very interestingly, right. I was talking to uh, a startup yesterday and the founder, I was talking to the founder because I'm going to interview him for my vlog and he has um a company that's uh, about cryptocurrency and so he's able to compete with bigger corporations now because they're taking out the middleman and they're not charging 10 percent for the transaction fee or whatever right with bitcoin and cryptocurrency you can you can charge you know zero percent or very little so right you know because these credit card companies and these financial institutions have become so bloated that they started taking you know they're starting getting greedy and taking all of these transaction fees and making them so big. Now with cryptocurrency, they you can compete with them because you can be like, okay, you know, my transaction fee is one percent instead of ten percent. Right. Exactly. So I think it's a it's kind of across the board with technology changing so many industries that uh, I mean we need to be. And I just feel the other thing that I see is that like these industries don't want to change. They they're not seeing the light. They're not seeing that things are happening and they're not 
um, they're not they're not following the trend. They're just like being stubborn. I feel like. <laughs> what do you think? Exactly, because it hasn't worked. You know, if it's worked for them in the past, they just want to continue it. So basically, the bottom line is we went over four or five different industries that we've been really noticing changes on. But we'd really like to see if anyone else out there in the world wants to make a prediction to see what the next big industry is going to be and what they should do about it. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and then if you have any examples that we didn't talk about, uh, we'd love to hear from you as well because we, yeah. you know, there's yeah. additional, I'm sure industries we did not mention, like the manufacturing industry or additional industries. All kinds. I mean, yeah. <laughs> all kinds. Yeah. So absolutely, we'd love to hear from our audiences. So please leave comments or send us notes or questions. Um, yeah, any other last thoughts before we wrap up? No, just I, I hope everyone else is a part of this changing world and you guys are open to some new ideas. I'd love to hear some new predictions from people. Let us know your thoughts. Absolutely. Thanks so much.